What is going on YouTube family? What is going on man? Your boy trucking with AB is back at it again with another video. It's been such a long time. I came here to a uh, Amazon in Arizona man. So many things have happened dude. I think it's been about a month since I've actually uh, made another video. So I apologize for that, for taking that long. Uh, to be honest, it feels really weird. Um, some of you guys have been reminding me about it, you know, like telling me like, what the heck, you know, where the video's at. Some of you guys seem to like the videos I make when I'm cooking in the truck. Um, but anyways, I'm checking back in with you guys. I owe you guys an apology, so I truly, sincerely apologize for that, for taking this long to make another video. So yeah, I just wanted to touch base with you guys again, because it's been a long time. And uh, update you guys, I got a lot of things to share with you guys. Many things happened in that time that I was uh, uh, not reporting, you know, it's about a month. Uh, but anyway, so here I'm about to back it into dock number uh, 110. Just waiting for a, dog, a yard dog to move out of the way. And yeah, so let's see how I do right now on this backing. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> I want to thank every single one of you guys that subscribe to the channel we actually reached a thousand subscribers uh, a week ago and i'm forever grateful i'm forever thankful i want to thank you guys for uh for subscribing you know i really do appreciate it uh the milestone that uh you guys helped you know that we achieved together pretty much you know because uh I wouldn't be able to have done this without you guys. You know, you guys are the ones that subscribe. You guys are the ones that are watching my videos. And I want to thank you guys because that's, uh, I was waiting for that, you know, and um, it fills me up with happiness and joy. And it's, I'm just, I don't know, speechless. This is really cool. It's not a lot of subscribers, but for me, it means a lot, man. A thousand subscribers, I'm stoked, man. So I'm gonna bring back to you guys more videos and I'm gonna do a giveaway because I did say I was gonna do a giveaway. So, We'll, we'll talk more about it. I'm going to ask you guys for suggestions in, in regards to the giveaway. Um, all right, so here we go. Hopefully you guys can kind of see. Let me see if I can uh, lock it in over there. So anyway, so I was saying, uh, I'm gonna uh, ask for a couple of suggestions down the road, so stay tuned, don't miss the video. I, I want you guys' opinions uh, regarding the giveaway that I'm gonna do. One way or another, we are giving away something. Uh, so subscribe if you haven't, and thank you so much if you already did. I'll talk to you guys in just a bit after I unhook. I took my pictures, I uploaded them already to my uh, 
my, the company I work for. And now, I'm just gonna pull forward. There we go, so it's safe to say that when you're pulling forward and you're unhooking from a trailer, it's safe to say that you guys need to wait before you completely pull all the way forward just in case either the landing gear fails or possibly you forgot to bring the, pot, the, the, the landing gear down. Because it could happen. At, at Schneider at least, they teach you to, um, when you're unhooking, make sure that the front of the trailer is right above the, the in, or in between the, your, your uh, trailer tires. I mean, not your trailer tires, your uh, tractor tires. So in between both of them or right above the last set of tires. So, you know, in the in the event that uh, your landing gear fails or something went wrong, you forgot to bring your landing gear down. If, if you accidentally drop the trailer, it's gonna land on top of your, uh, your, uh, your frame and it's not gonna drop to the ground. Uh, Cause it's happened, I guess, you know, people, you know, they probably, they didn't notice that they, they didn't bring the landing gear down or whatever, they unhooked and they pulled forward and boom, all the way to the ground, you know? Or in some events, the landing gear can fail. Uh, but anyway, so that's just a quick reminder for you guys that don't know, and if you know, you know, let me know if I got it right or wrong. Yeah, I just wanted to switch my camera uh, view talk too much because uh since i don't have my gopro i need to use my gps but uh i gotta take a right on right here and then the pickup location is not too too far away should be there within like 13 minutes at most uh, <clears throat> but anyway so yeah so we're out here in arizona man it's so freaking hot here man it's about 116 degrees fahrenheit walk outside and you can feel the hot air it feels like you're in a sauna 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 however the hell you pronounce it um but yeah it's pretty pretty damn hot and i just dropped this one off So we just got here to, uh, it's called JPS Cattle something. Uh, whew, damn, it stinks. Oh, they got cows right there. I wonder what I'm taking. It's probably like beef products or something. But uh, they said that the uh, building right there, the red building that you see up ahead, that's the shipping and receiving, so I'm gonna just check in real quick, see what they have to say, and uh, I'm gonna find out what I'm gonna be taking back to California. All right. number to uh, check in so they can uh, sign me and give me my uh, tell me where the truck is but uh, this patch we're having a little bit of hard time so in the meantime the Loria came back <laughs> I'm gonna catch me something to eat because I'm pretty hungry but we'll see what they have
right, so <clears throat> I didn't really get to eat all of my food, but it's all good. They got me my uh, confirmation that I have all the numbers that they need for me, and they allowed me to proceed to go find the trailer now. <clears throat> this is a little different though because they want me to weigh every axle individually here in their facility. So as soon as I pick up the trailer, after I find it, I have to go and uh, I have to go, thank you dude, I have to come back in here to the right and uh, weigh the every axle on the truck, the trailer, uh, make sure that I'm not going to be overweight. So the trailer number is 5306R, something like that. So it seems like all of these are reefers, I think, because it's produce, you know, it's some sort of like beef product, you know. So I got to come here to the left, to this dirt lot right here, and look for my trailer number, 5306. 5306, baby, and then we are ready to go on to the next one. transmission I got a fault on my transmission I'm gonna have to turn it off I can't move right now sorry about that we're good I don't know if this has happened to you guys or not but I got a little fault on my transmission and it wasn't allowing me to move forward or backwards but apparently I'm on the wrong side. I'm supposed to be on the other side. Let's hope that it's that red trailer. That would be pretty nice. I don't know if you guys can see it right now or not. <clears throat> There's a red trailer over here. And the number is 5306R. I'm hoping it's that red trailer. Uh, night refrigerated. The second time I'm going to be pulling a reefer for this company. Well, it's not the company's, it's not the, it's not the company I work for, it's not their reefer, it's not the trailer, but... Damn it, it's not the red one.
this one I need to replace it pretty soon. It's still good, but I should it's starting to feel very uh how do you say very rough like the elasticity of the rubber is pretty much almost gone so I think it needs to be replaced ASAP before it rips you know what I mean so put the airline first <clears throat> here's one thing I like to do tell me if you guys do it too I'm gonna turn on I just found out I had this option I didn't even know I can select this thing to, to be on to test all my lights and then my brakes are engaged. I'm gonna disengage the trailer brake so I can release air into the brakes. And then this way I can uh, hear if there's any uh, air leaks or not. So I'm gonna do that while I go around, check everything. And then, or yeah, and then I can do a bring up my uh, my landing gear the right way. I'm gonna do that last because I'm gonna have a hard time doing it with one hand right now. just one I should be fine we're about to find out right now Vamanos, let's go that's a weird looking uh, weird looking uh, system to pull out the pins um, the trailer is kind of beat up too I sent a video recording to my dispatchers and pictures they're gonna talk to the broker I'm 
I might move it one, maybe two. I'm only, it's only 800 pounds, so I don't know. I can't remember the rule of thumb in regards to how much a difference it makes if you move it one whole. Oh. I'll probably do two just to be safe. All right, so I think I should have moved it over once. Go check real quick. Oh my God, that's right on the money, baby. Look at that. Does this trailer look super low? Oh damn. Look how low it is. That's uh too too low. I don't think it's supposed to be that way. It's not good guys. It's a good thing. Make sure that it, it 
gets better, you know, because if it doesn't, you cannot drive it that way, you know. And see, I don't hear nothing anymore. I don't hear no air working into the air system. I hear no leaks. And uh, the airbags seems like they're a lot bigger again now. But uh, they're a little bit weird looking. I've never seen airbags like that. But it's a big difference though, it's day and night, black and white. I wonder why they're like that. See, that's kind of weird, man. I don't know. But I'm gonna go back, reweigh it again. check this out guys look at this beautiful rookie mistake steering 11,360 drives 30,000 so it got lower and my trailer is even more overweight now it's 35,440 pounds so long story short I moved it the wrong way and then uh, that truck blocked me now I was gonna show you guys something what I just realized is Whenever I engage the parking brake on the trailer, the airbags go super low. I might ask this guy something real quick. Can I ask you a quick question? I'm fairly new in trucking and I got a concern on my truck, or not, not my truck, but the trailer. Every time I engage the parking brake on the trailer, the airbags go super low. Yeah, it's got an auto drop. Oh, is that what it is? I trailer is that a thing. So it's not a bad thing then? No, it's just, no, it's like it pumps back up. It does. Okay, it stays. It stays, yeah. It's called an auto drop. It's not a nice drop on the airbag. That way, it's supposed to have little, little uh, levers that come down, yeah. little feet that come down, right. that supports the trailer when they're loading. Gotcha. So it have all the wear and tear on the airbag. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. So there you have it. <clears throat> oh, it's not a bad thing to ask, you know? At the end of the day, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It is what it is. I'm a rookie. Let's see how low it dropped again? I'm thinking it's a bad thing, but he's telling me it does it strategically to release the weight from the airbags when that you know whenever it's standing still or probably too when it's being unloaded you know so that makes a lot of sense actually now that you think about it you know if you're being unloaded you got your trailer park your trailer uh, brakes engaged so you release all the air and it automatically drops and so instead of putting all the support when you're being unloaded on the airbags it puts the support on the frame and these other, you know, probably the cross members and something else. It's the only thing I can think of. And that's pretty much what he said. So let's do it again. Oh, Jesus.
again. Strike five. I'm out. <laughs> All right, so if you haven't been able to tell, I definitely struggled a lot to get these locking pins to unlock, to get released and go back inside so that I can uh, slide my tandems again. It took me this long to do it. I definitely struggled. I was out of breath and it was, it was definitely a struggle, man. But I finally got it. Sure you guys can hear in my voice, but damn, I was getting tired. Really tired. So good thing it's on the right one now. Now I gotta go reweigh it again. For me this time 34,480 on the trailer so seems like it moved under 400 pounds at a time Five and thirty two seven. Let's 
So people say the third time's a charm, but apparently it wasn't. That wasn't it for me. <laughs> it was four, four attempts. Do I need to send this or? Yeah, the first three pages. First three pages? All right. Yeah, all the highlighted areas. Okay. Four different papers, three, four different seals. It's crazy. Man, so tell me why after I took forever to finally get it together and, you know, get the uh, weight right on all the axles after I took so freaking long. Tell me why down the road I come to find out that one of the latches is completely off of the trailer door. Man, so right after that, I had to go to a truck stop to a TA. They couldn't even fix it. So I had to do this Mickey Mouse. I got this adhesive caulking kind of deal and I just put a bunch of it on the back of the latch on the area where it was supposed to go on the door and uh, miraculously it actually stayed so I ended up driving that way all the way all my deliveries and it stayed and didn't come off but uh, man it just seemed like that day man this stay right here it's just it seemed like it was a never-ending one thing after the other but finally I got it together we figured it out and I was able to deliver. This is uh, a couple of weeks from now, from the day I'm gonna upload. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I did a recording. All these, uh, you know, time I was recording here. Uh, but I uh, come to find out that the audio was you couldn't really hear it. So that's why I'm doing a voiceover right now. But again, uh, yeah. This load was delivered. Uh, I had four stops. Uh, I finished them. Two in LA the LA area and two in the up in the Bay Area and that's where I finished um, so yeah let's talk about the giveaway I keep saying it's a raffle it's not a raffle it's a giveaway I'm giving away something to one of my subscribers because I'm grateful that we reached the milestone together we actually got to a thousand subscribers and it's a milestone it's an accomplishment that I'm very grateful for I'm happy and the only way I can repay you guys is by doing a giveaway. And so here's the way I'm going to go about it. I was thinking about giving away the exact same items that I already own that I've been buying on Walmart and at Amazon. But I feel like for my first giveaway, I don't want to complicate things too much. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the equivalent in dollar amount. But I think it's going to be for sure 100 or a little bit more than 100 bucks. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's the only way I think I can repay you guys for helping me reach this milestone. We, basically, we can say and we can agree that we got to this milestone together, you know, because you guys are the ones that are watching my videos. You guys are the ones that are subscribing to the channel. And thank you so much, man. I really, truly appreciate you guys. All right. Without any further ado, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. You guys are still in time. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much especially since you've been with me since the beginning i appreciate each and every one of you guys man thank you so much all right your boy trucking with ab is out until the next one thank you again and i'll talk to you guys on the other one have a good one